Hello everyone, this is Sam Scaria with Simon Max Photography, bringing you a quick tutorial on a program that I use. Uh, I am a professional photographer, artist, and a painter. Um, I do a lot of weddings, uh, landscape photography, and amongst other things, portraits and, uh, and uh, water and olive oil photography. Uh, for this quick tutorial, um, it's really about a program that I use. It's not Lightroom or Photoshop. Uh, those are not uh, the programs that I'm going to go into. That's where I do my wedding photography and my workflow. But uh, we're going to keep this short and simple. And we're going to talk about a program called Smart Photo Editor. Now, if you're a professional photographer or just a novice, uh, and if you've heard of this program, that's great. You might learn something. If you have not heard of it, I recommend uh, you look into this program. Um, now, I got this program about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, I downloaded it from www.smartphotoeditor.com. And I believe it was a two weeks to 30 days. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think it was two weeks, a free trial. All you need is a uh, basically a... Uh, email address and a uh, create a password and you could use it. Now when I uh, did download the program, uh, the only bad thing about it is I believe you could not save the photograph. You can do all the effects but you cannot save the photograph. Uh, so within uh, probably about seven minutes of playing with the program I ended up buying it. I loved it so much and uh, I thought it would be a useful thing or a useful tool in what I do. Uh, so I went ahead and bought it. I think it was like 45 to $50, uh, uh, just to be on the safe side. I think it was around that, that price. And I did an electronic download and I have not had any issues with it at all. Also, I want to let you know that, um, I do not work for a uh, smart photo editor. Uh, this is not a, any plugin for them. I do not get paid for this. Uh, I just love the program and I just want to put some of the, uh, ways and, and uh, the things that I do in my workflow and how I use this program to hopefully help you in enhancing your photography. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and dabble into it and see what we can do. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I use an iMac here uh, and I have this desktop photo of this beautiful uh, mountain scene and as you can see unfortunately I did not take this photograph but uh, uh, I love this photograph, even though it's kind of washed out. You could see the sky is a little bit kind of a uh, washed away, and some of the mountains here are kind of kind of just bland, where the dark is not as dark, the light is not as light. It all seems to be like one uh, uh, kind of a one shade of a color. So what we're going to do is enhance this photograph and make it better. And hopefully you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? Now, I'm using this photograph just to give you an idea of how I do my landscaping, okay? Uh, using Smart Photo Editor. So let's go ahead and open Smart Photo Editor. I'm not going to go into details of what it does. Uh, it has all these tools and maybe in another tutorial that we can go into it as far as the cropping and red eye removal and... Uh, the straightening of the photograph. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and load the image. I just want to let you know that I have not done anything to this image as far as the contrast or exposure. Basically, all I have done is cropped the photo into a rectangular look to give it that landscape look. Okay, so this is the original photograph and let's go ahead and open a effect gallery. And as you can see on top here, it's page one of 230. When I first bought the program it was page one of 50. There are 12 effects on each page. Now imagine 12 effects on 230 pages. It just, it's, it just goes on and on. And what's great about this program is people that use it uh, are allowed to uh, actually uh, create their own effects and name them and submit them to uh, Smart Photo Editor. None of them are turned down which is great. Uh, and they are embedded in a program and anybody can use them such as I or you or whoever and uh, what's great is named after you and uh, you know if a photographer finds your effect useful then uh, more power to them to use it 
So that's what's great about it. And what I also like about this program is you can actually layer all the effects on top of each other. There are certain programs that when you do layer uh, an effect on top of another effect, it really takes away from the first effect that you did and it kind of throws it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick uh, tutorial here and just show you how I work with landscaping, okay? Now normally I don't go beyond like page 5 for my landscaping, but feel free to use any effect that you want and it's not going to really hurt your photograph at all. Just go ahead and press a button and, and see what it does. Now up here is showing you what the photograph looks like in each effect, but since they're so small you can't see them, let's go ahead and open the grid view down here so we can see them bigger. Okay, now the first effect I want to add is called the Contrast Realistic, and that's created by Tony. And uh, as you can see on the left-hand side, they have sliders. If you're not satisfied with the way he has it, you can go ahead and tweak the sliders to fit, you know, your photograph or your mood, okay? So let's go ahead and click on the Contrast Realistic here and see what we can do. We're going to go ahead and confirm it by pressing the button and as you can see up here here's the original photograph and here it is with the first effect now if you're happy with your photograph as far as just two effects that's great just go ahead and file and save it okay and that's fine uh, now you can see we've darkened these areas a little bit but it's still a little bit washed out even though the sky is a little bit bluer but let's make this this photograph fully pop out so you can see the difference so I'm going to go back to Effect Gallery again, and we're going to hit the Grid View, and I'm going to use this Darken, and Darken was created by Andrew, so let's go ahead and confirm that. So here it is, our original, and then here it is, our second effect, and as you can see, the third one, we got this area of the mountain a little bit highlighted. Uh, this is a little bit darker, the sky is a little darker, the blues are richer. But still, I'm not happy with this. I want to bring it out more to life. I want to see the cracks. I want to see the sunlight glimmer off the mountains. So let's go ahead and click on uh, Effects menu here and hit the Grid view. And from here, I'm going to go to HDR. If you're a professional photographer, obviously, you know HDR stands for Hyper Dynamic Range. This is where five photographs are taken from the lightest to the darkest and the middle one being the correct exposure and the correct aperture. And uh, two other photographs in between are all combined together to give you the correct highlights, the correct uh, shadows, and uh, the correct... Uh, mid-tones for the photograph. So let's go ahead and click on uh, HDR and confirm it. And as you can see, now we have a little bit of color. We have the sky. The blue is just popping out. We have a little uh, uh, light where the dark areas were, a little bit of color. You could see the cracks a little bit better compared to the original one and compared to what we have now. Now what I want to do is bring out a little more highlights in this area and in these area to make the sun like more uh, looking like a, a shimmer of light off the rocks okay so let's go ahead there's one more effect that I love and I use and I believe that is on the second page so let's go ahead and go to the second page and this one is called accentuated lighting and this one's also done by Tony so let's go ahead and click on it and voila you could see a little bit of highlights here. Uh, the dark uh, shadows are dark, but yet you could still see the highlights. The snow uh, is much more richer. The sky is brighter. Some of the details in the mountains that we pulled out here, they're uh, just amazing, especially in this area right here. So here it is, original, and here it is where we're at. Now, you can go ahead and hit file here and save it and print it out and hang it in your home, which would be great. But there is another thing that I do, and that is I like to add a border to it. And I like to add this black border to just make it complete. And uh, there you go. This is a, a million dollar uh, photograph that we took and it was washed out and yet we brought life to it. So hopefully uh, this tutorial kind of gave you an idea of how I work. 
Uh, I'm sorry that this tutorial kind of took a little bit long. I normally know every effect in this program and I work really fast. It takes me about four clicks and I'm done with the photograph. But just for the tutorial, I uh, wanted to go a little bit slower so you guys can see what I do. And, uh, you know, a lot of these effects are going to work for some photographs and a lot of them are not going to work. So you're just going to have to play with it. Don't be afraid um, and, and use the program and see after a while you'll you'll get familiar with it and you'll know what effects works with what. OK, but for landscaping, I kind of gave you an idea of with four clicks, you can have a beautiful photograph. OK. So uh, please, if you're watching this on YouTube on Simon Max One, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you some more details as far as uh, what this program does. And hopefully in other tutorials, we can go into a little bit more in depth. And if you're watching this on uh, Facebook, uh, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. I uh, would appreciate any feedback, good or bad. And if you have any questions, please uh, write them in the comments and uh, I'll be glad to answer your questions and help you out any way I can. Okay, so again, this is Sam Scaria for Simon Max Photography. And please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope this helped you out. If not much, I hope it helped you out a little bit. Thank you for watching.